everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ito lang sa Teacher Fulin TV. Here is the last part of our lesson in quarter 3, week 4 for Science 5, which is about open and closed circuit and electrical safety measures. Let us first answer the following questions by arranging the letters in order to look for the correct answers. Number one. Status of a circuit that is complete and unbroken with flowing electric current. Number two, a flow of electrical charges. Three. A status of a circuit that has breaks or openings in which electric current cannot flow. Four, the unbroken path along which an electric current flows. The number five, opens and closes the circuit. Let us tackle first continuity of an electric circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. Electric current flows through the connecting wires from the power source to the device, then back to the source again. While in open circuit, electricity does not flow in this kind of circuit because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. If it is an open circuit, an electrical device does not work. In the, in the case of figure 3, the bulb does not light up. How short circuit occurs? An electric cord contains two wires. One wire carries current from the power source to the load or electrical devices. The other wire carries current back to the source. A damaged cord can cause a short circuit. A short circuit occurs when electric current flows a shorter path than intended. For example, if the two bare wires in a damaged cord come into contact with each other, current flows directly from one wire to the other. Electrical safety measures. Electricity is very important in the world and in our daily living. It is safe to use but becomes dangerous in careless hands. It may cause fire, damage, and accidents. Misuse or mishandling of electrical circuits or electrical connections can result to serious injuries and even death. In order to avoid the electrical accidents, let us take the following safety rules in using electricity. 1. Pull the plug, not the wire. Then, never use wet outlets or those deep into the water. When you are not using your appliances, Turn them off. Never stick or insert a metal or any object into an electric outlet. Do not place electric appliances near water. It can cause electrocution. Stay away from electric power lines when flying a kite. Do not climb on power post too. 
Do not plug too many appliances into an outlet. An overloaded outlet called an octopus connection can cause fire. Do not touch light switches or plugs of appliances when your hands are wet or when you are standing on a wet surface. Call a qualified electrician if you want to repair your faulty wiring or broken appliances. Do not repair them yourself if you are not trained to do so. And lastly, cover electrical outlets with plastic caps, especially if there are children in your home. This will prevent them from putting things inside or playing with the outlets. The plastic caps can be bought in most appliances or electrical stores. Here are other electrical devices that can help us prevent electrical accident. Fuse is an electrical safety device that operates to provide overcurrent protection of an electrical circuit. Its essential component is a metal wire or strip that melts when too much current flows through it, thereby stopping or interrupting the current. The circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit. Its basic function is to interrupt current flow after a fault is detected.